there's somebody out there that doesn't really know what a glass ceiling is, what are the symptoms of it? I think, again, they, they can vary from organisation to organisation okay. and individual to individual. But uh, um, I think, as you've said, it is this individual barrier. And maybe if you have been, uh, you're in an internal role, again, if you're looking for internal promotion or if you're looking for something externally, yeah. it's that invisible barrier. Okay. So you, maybe you've gone for a couple of internal promotions and you haven't got them. Maybe you haven't sought the, sought the feedback. Maybe you've been told by managers not to apply for a certain role, or maybe you've tried to, to work in a different area of the business. Um, and again, you've been told or uh, you sort of discussed maybe uh, not going for that particular promotion mm -hmm. um, but I think the symptoms can vary um, again from from organization to organization and from individual to individual but it's I think it's with it being that invisible barrier it's whatever we feel is holding us back and I think if we do feel there is something holding us back then I think we need to explore that a little bit more in ourselves to find out what it is that we need to do to kind of crack through that that invisible barrier and that glass ceiling <music>